Hey friends, welcome to week four of my quarantine content and specifically my tutorials on learning how to spin poi if you're just starting out under lockdown and everything. Uh, this week we're going to be covering the basics of what I would consider to be poi dance. That is being able to move around with your poi and today we're going to be doing that with our poi and together same. Drex here from DrexFactor.com working to bring the love of poi spinning and flow arts into your world and today we're going to get those feet in gear, yeah? Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these awesome companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. So clearly we are not inside my apartment this time around and the reason for that is is that the stuff that I wanted to cover this week all involves moving around a whole lot more than I've got room for in my apartment. So normally when I want to shoot outside I'll just go to the park across the street from my apartment. You'll note that I did one week's worth of videos out there, you know, a couple weeks ago. Uh, but the problem is, is that now the recommendations are saying that anytime you are leaving the house, you should be wearing a mask. Now, I do have a really nice mask that I picked up for Burning Man a few years ago, and works quite well. But the problem is, as you can probably hear, is that it doesn't work terribly well for the mic. So the closest thing to a backyard I've got is this kind of courtyard that's behind uh, the apartment complex that I live in and everything. It's not really a private backyard, so there's the chance that random people are going to come through and that kind of defeats the purpose, but um, give me a mulligan on this one, please. I'm really trying hard to be a good role model, but I am clearly up against some factors that are out of my control here. So the inspiration behind this week's worth of uh, poi lessons is that I really want you all moving around with your poi as soon as possible. We spend a lot of time talking about individual tricks and it's really rare that we spend all that much time actually dealing with the actual business of being able to move with them, right? And of course, for those of you out there who've seen any of my flow videos, you will know that dance is a really, really important thing for me in terms of moving with the poi. Okay, so with all that said now, let's talk about what this tutorial is really supposed to be on, which is the ability to do basic shunai steps with your poi in together same, like so. Now, we're going to need to do a little bit of work figuring out how to move around with our poi in order to make this possible. Okay, so let's start this whole thing off by talking about what our feet are doing. I want you to imagine that there's like an invisible line on the ground, and if you can actually find a line on the ground, so much better to practice with. I don't have one here, but um, I trust that y'all might be able to find a seam in the concrete or something like that that you can use, or just draw it on the ground with chalk or something like that, right? Now. Um, what I want you to go ahead and do is line up your feet along this line and I want you to imagine that like uh, you ever play that game when you're a kid that like you know you put cushions down on the ground and like the floor is lava and you can only hit things that uh, aren't directly on the ground. Uh, it's kind of like that except that this line now is the cushion and everything else is the lava, right? So um, I want you to go ahead and try just stepping along that line trying to avoid everything else as you go back and forth, yeah? Stepping forward, pivoting your body as you do so, yeah? Um, the way I'm kind of thinking of this is that my foot is uh, almost kind of leading the way and my body is following it. Or uh, I guess it's more that my hips are leading the way. Like I can feel my left hip pull forward and then my right hip pull forward and it drags both uh, my upper body as well as my foot along with it, yeah? So I would think of this right here as being a forward step. And for what I want to do today, we need to be able to step both forwards as well as back. So let's talk about what the back looks like, shall we? Okay, so the forward is easy enough because we get to see exactly where we're going, yeah? I can kind of look and plan and plant my foot where I think I want it to go, right? The stepping backward is a little bit more difficult. You're actually going to start it off by looking away from the point that you're going to be stepping towards. So if I want to step there, I'm actually going to be twisting my body away from it. And I'm going to, once again, uh, put all my weight on, my, uh, on the ball of my right foot and look around to step in that spot with my left foot, yeah? I'm stepping behind myself rather than in front of myself. And I'm going to do the same thing again, stepping back with my right foot, back with my left foot, back with my right foot. I'm going to do this going back the other way too. I'm going to step back with my right foot, back with my left foot, back with my right foot, back with my left foot, yeah? So I want you to first get comfortable just with stepping like this. Forwards, to the right, 
forwards to the left, backwards to the right, and of course, backwards to the left. Yeah? All right, so now let's get our poi involved here. I'm gonna start off with my poi going in together same, the same timing and direction combination that we first started off with in our timing and direction tutorial a couple weeks ago. I will go ahead and link to that down in the description. Uh, you just wanna be doing extensions here, have the poi be extensions of your hands. And I want you to look at that moment where the poi are heading out to your right hand side. I'm, I'm spinning my poi clockwise here, yeah? And I want you to go ahead and think that when the momentum of the poi is heading to the right, your left foot is going to go with them, yeah? Now we've switched which direction we're facing, and the poi now seem to be spinning counterclockwise rather than clockwise. Again, you're going to look for this moment when it looks like the poi are going off to your left, and you're going to carry your right foot around with them, yeah? Again. Wait for that moment when the poise momentum is heading off to the right and take your left foot with them. And wait for that moment when the poise momentum is going off to the left and take your right foot with them, yeah? Okay, now let's go back the other way. So now, instead of that point coming when the poi are at the top of their arc, it's gonna come when they're at the bottom of their arc. So right when they go past your feet, you're gonna sweep your right foot around to counterclockwise, you're gonna sweep your left foot around to clockwise, you're gonna sweep your right foot around to counterclockwise, and your left foot around to, count to uh, clockwise once again, yeah? So go ahead and just do this exercise for a second, taking two beats in each spot, yeah? Thinking one, two, step left, one, two, step right, one, two, step left, one, two, step right, going back the other way, thinking one, two, step right, one, two, step left, one, two, step right, one, two, step left, yeah? I really want to emphasize that this is going to be much, much, much easier if you treat the poi and hands as extensions of each other. Your body automatically knows how to make these turns with your hands, and so if you can incorporate the poi into that kind of information in your body and everything, it's going to make your job a lot easier. All right, now the same thing, but we're going to step backwards. This is going to feel a little bit less intuitive, but bear with me here. So as the poi are going around together, same like this and everything, I want you to go ahead and wait for that moment when the poi are furthest away from the point uh, that you're going to be walking towards, right? So rather than when they're going off to the right, I'm going to wait until they're going off to the left. And when that happens, I'm going to sweep my left foot behind me around to counterclockwise. Likewise, when the poi are swinging off to my right hand side now, I'm going to sweep my right foot behind me. Then as they go off to my left, I'm going to sweep my left foot behind me. Sweeping my right again and going back the other way. I'm going to wait until the poi are far away from the direction I want to go in, so off to my right, and I'm going to sweep my right foot behind. I'm going to wait until they're off to my left and sweep my left foot behind. Sweep my right foot behind, sweep my left foot behind, yeah? So once again, your goal here is to get in two beats with each step, thinking one, two, step back, one, two, step back, one, Two, step back, one, two, step back. And of course, going the other way too. One, two, step back, one, two, step back, one, two, step back, one, two, step back, right? Okay, so we're doing all of these steps and, you know, being able to step with the poi is fine and everything, but this doesn't quite necessarily look like anything just yet. So where exactly are we going with this? I'm so glad you asked. We're gonna start putting those forwards and reverse steps together into what are called shunne turns. So shunnes are a dance term for basically just stepping around like so, where you're constantly turning in one direction, yeah? Um, we can make that work with poi in all the different timing and direction combinations, and that is really the focus of this week. All right, so let's start putting that together. I'm going to start off with my poi spinning clockwise here, and I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, steps forward, or at least one step forward. One, two, step forward with the left. Now I'm going to switch around to doing a back step. It's going to be my right foot going around. So I'm going to do one, two, step back with my right. Again, I'm going to do this one, two, step forward with my left. One, two, step back with my right. Yeah? And we're going to do it going back the other way. So I'm going to first step forward with my right and then back with my left, thinking one, two, forward with the right. One, two, back with the left. One, 
two, forward with the right, one, two, back with the left. All right, so now let's turn this into an actual shunne step. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna skip the middleman. We're gonna go straight from the step forward to the step backwards and then stop, yeah? So here's what that looks like. Uh, basically, as I'm going off to my right-hand side here, every time the poi go up, I'm gonna be stepping forward, and every time they go down, I'm gonna be stepping back. Watch right quick, yeah? So I go one, two, forward, left, back, right. One, two, forward, left, back, right, yeah? Just like that. And of course, we gotta go back, so it's gonna be forward, right, back, left, thinking one, two, right and left, one, two, right and left to get back to where you started, yeah? And I think you're actually going to find here that the momentum helps you out in a lot of ways. Basically, the poi are going to carry you around with each of the different steps to where you ought to be, and that actually is going to help you be able to move through it a lot smoother. All right, so let's see those again in slow motion right quick. Cool. I know that this is a very, very different kind of poi lesson and uh, maybe not exactly what a lot of you had in mind when it came to beginner poi. But the thing is, is that I think that it is really important as soon as possible to get people comfortable with moving with their poi, with being able to get their feet in gear and moving their bodies around as the poi are spinning. So uh, over the course of the next few days, we're going to be exploring these shunne turns with our poi working in uh, different timing and direction combinations so you can get more freedom of movement out of the tricks that you already know. Also, please help me get these videos out to the wider world. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and uh, make sure that we can get the whole world spinning during the lockdown here, yeah? And of course, if you are wanting to skip ahead and check out some stuff that I will be covering in the coming weeks right now, you can sign up for my Spin Poi Like a Rockstar series over on my website at drexfactor.com. Uh, it covers all the tricks that we're doing here and it sends them directly to your inbox and you can download the entire set of lessons uh, right away. So uh, if, for those of you out there that are needing a little bit more of a challenge, that might be a good answer. If you are getting something out of this project, if it is helping you out with your poi spinning, if it's helping you uh, kind of revisit the basics, if it's helping you learn how to teach stuff, if it is helping you get started from scratch, uh, please consider supporting this project over on my Patreon, uh, like all these nice folks did. Um, my Patreon is very literally what's keeping me going during this crisis here. So if you have the means, and I understand if you don't, but if you do, uh, please consider heading on over to patreon.com slash Factor Poi and signing up. You get early access to all of my content as well as the ability to vote in uh, which topics I tackle in the future. Uh, so it's, it, it's, it's a really wonderful place where I get to connect with people with whom this content means a lot. So you should check it out. Alrighty then, now tomorrow we are going to dive into the shunne steps with our poi going in together opposites because that is going to be a whole challenge in and of itself, yeah? Uh, but stick with this one because I really do think that getting freedom of movement with poi is a really, really, really important part of what we do, yeah? Cool. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.